Yesterday was the hottest day recorded in September in Gilzerije in a 120 year period. The perfect context to talk about the economic effects of climate change. I want to share with you the effect that climate change, rising temperatures, has on uh, economics, on um, the development of countries. Now, uh, let me tell you upfront that none of these ideas are my own. In fact, it's uh, Richard Toll's work that I'm presenting here. Um, but Toll's original work is a bit inaccessible if you don't have a PhD in economics. Hence, uh, my translation perhaps adds to the, uh, to the story. And I want to share a couple of conclusions with you based on two graphs in the paper. First, um, this graph shows the effect that climate change um, expressed in um, a number of degrees centigrade above pre-industrial levels has on the development of the world economy, assuming that such a thing exists. Um, and we see a couple of interesting things. First, for relatively low um, instances of um, increasing temperatures, we see that the net effect on global wealth is actually positive. Um, that may sound surprising. Um, if you think about what, um, what effects climate change has on the economy, however, um, this may not be as, um, as surprising as it originally sounded. Um, think about, for example, what happens if the average temperature increases, then uh, for sure you will demand more air conditioning in summer. Um, at the same time, however, you will demand less heating in, uh, in winter. And what that does on balance really, um, um, that's not that sure. And there are many of these effects where um, rising sea levels are good for some, um, but bad for other um, activities. Um, so on balance, apparently, um, according to the studies reviewed in Toll's paper, uh, if the um, climate change is um, limited to 1.1 degrees centigrade above pre-industrial levels, the net effect on the economy will be positive. Uh, that is, obviously, if you look at the um, predictions of climate change on um, um, and, and how extensive that will be, um, then 1.1 degree um, increase is really um, small. Um, so the part of the curve that is above zero, so the part of, um, of climate change that is um, that, that, that will have a positive effect on the economy is merely a theoretical scenario that's not likely to happen in practice. In fact, uh, we see, and that's the second thing, that above 1.1 degrees centigrade increase, the um, positive effect starts to decline and above 1.7% it actually turns negative. Um, and most projections of, the, um, of what happens to climate if we don't do anything um, exceed the 1.7% level. So anything below that, it might bring positive effects, um, but that's a scenario that is in the past. Um, so the second conclusion is that for um, increases that are likely to happen in the order of magnitude of 1.7% or higher, the total effect on the world economy is negative. Um, but it is not shockingly negative. If you look into the implications, then um, for um, scenarios in, in, in two, three percent um, um, increases in climate change, um, that doesn't lead to, ac to economic effects that are bigger than the average downturn. Um, in fact, the uh, recent pandemic is likely to have a bigger impact on, uh, on the economy um, than, uh, than climate change. So uh, the effect is likely to be negative, but it's not likely to be uh, to be very big. The economy is not likely to collapse, at least not as a result of climate change, according to the studies reviewed in the paper. Um, a third conclusion is that the effects um, are highly uncertain, um, and that is perhaps a caution that should come with the preceding uh, conclusion. Um, as indicated by the dotted lines, there's a wide margin of effect, particularly as um, the increase in temperature would be bigger. Um, so the, um, the, the bigger climate change is, um, the more uncertain we are as to the, uh, to the effects. Um, that is indicated by the area between the dotted lines, where the solid line indicates the uh, predicted effect. 
obviously underlying all these um, these effects of given scenarios on the world um, economy are um, hundreds of countries that will be differentially affected um, and the next graph shows the effect of climate change on economic development in countries sorted by their um, their economic development uh, so by their their current income and again we draw a couple of conclusions uh, what we see um, that is conclusion number four if I am um, not mistaken uh, what we see is that the um, effect of climate change is less negative so the it's an increasing um, curve it's the slope is positive the effect is less negative the richer the country is um, or conversely climate change is likely to hit the economies hardest of those countries which are already poor um, um, fifth the um, there are some countries which are very um, very wealthy already uh, which may even benefit from uh, from climate change as indicated by the few countries that are above the um, horizontal axis and again depending on what what the country specializes in and um, these activities the, the the effects may vary now there are three reasons according to Richard Toll why particularly poor countries are likely to be struck by uh, by climate change why they are the ones who likely suffer the most first um, countries um, that are poor are also um, those countries which specialize in activities um, think about agriculture for example that are most affected by climate change um, if, uh, if the temperature increases if floods or droughts are more likely to occur if there's more variety in temperatures um, that is likely to affect those um, those professions that need the weather that are more most affected by the weather uh, most so agriculture is likely to be affected and it happens to be that agriculture is a larger part of the economy in poor in, in poor uh, countries um, if you specialize in services or in industrial production um, as is the case in more wealthy countries then um, you will also be affected by climate change but way less so so the first um, the reason is that these these countries are more poor countries are more susceptible to the effects of climate change second um, countries that are relatively poor are also those countries which are relatively hot um, already so if you would map um, the same countries from um, cold to hot and then show the same impact of, uh, of um, climate change then also hotter countries are likely to suffer most um, and this is because hot countries hence poor countries operate at the frontiers of what is technologically feasible already if you imagine a Scandinavian country and you add, add a couple of degrees centigrade then um, their climate starts to look an awful lot like uh, like Germany for example um, and they may may choose to uh, to behave um, like the Germans do so to go about um, climate uh, and what it does like the Germans do to build cities like the Germans do to um, uh, to dress the way they do whatever um, and the Germans in contrast will experience um, when, when experiencing climate change will have a climate that is pretty much like southern European countries um, and so on and so forth so for all these countries they can copy um, or they can implement the technologies that are already implemented in um, somewhat hotter countries but the hottest countries on earth um, when experiencing climate change they will go into an unknown terrain they enter a uh, an environment where uh, where we don't yet know how to go about uh, technology so if if you're in death valley and temperature rises above 45 degrees and that would suddenly become 50 or 55 you have no clue uh, what to do uh, about this um, so second the um, countries are closest already to the technological frontiers and therefore um, um, we lack the technologies to know what to um, how to go about uh, climate change third um, and, and final uh, poor countries often lack the um, the institutions um, that would make them um, able to easily adopt to new circumstances so they uh, their institutional quality may be lower um, their their legal systems may be uh, may be weaker uh, whatnot um, so the um, so these countries have less of a capacity to adjust to the new uh, to the new circumstances at least on a uh, on a national uh, national scale
And these three effects, so these countries are more susceptible to, uh, to climate change. Um, they're in climates that are already hot, so we don't know what's going to happen if the temperature increases even more. Um, the world lacks the technologies for these circumstances and they lack the adaptive capacity to change um, their country to, um, to these new circumstances. These three effects jointly explain why particularly poor countries are affected by, um, by climate change. So, um, in sum, uh, what, the, uh, what the study shows is that the average effect of climate change on the economy um, is likely to be negative, um, although there are scenarios possible in which the effect would be positive, but these are merely theoretical scenarios. Um, and it is modest on average, but that average um, that, that, that disguises underlying variety um, in, um, uh, depending on whether a country is poor or rich, where poor countries may actually be severely affected by, uh, by climate change.